Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to import adult materials. Most imports are pretty straightforward. Supply name, the item group, or other information, and it goes in pretty uh, easily. However, the bomb has a unique structure different than any other structure in the, uh, in the system in that it's comprised of three different tables. Uh, the first table is the bomb table. Uh, which automatically gets created when I created this assembly item, and it automatically populates the f a uh, the default uh, uh, step, which in my file is called the picking. And uh, you'll notice here on the bomb step, I added two columns. So I came in here and I added uh, the bomb ID and the ID of the step in the table. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and add one component so we can kind of see how, how this all fits together. So I'm just going to easily add this. And now I've added one component. You can see here that the bomb step ID is actually the same ID as the step ID. All right. And so to import the steps, we need the bomb ID. And to import the components, we need the bomb step ID. So now I'm going to create an import template to import another step into this bill of materials. So here is my, uh, my spreadsheet. And I, first thing I put in is the bomb step, or sorry, the bomb ID. And then the name of the step, the time, and the UL. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save that as a CSV file. And then we're going to go ahead and proceed to import it. When I import, I want to pick the bomb step template. Okay, so there's my bomb. Map the bomb ID, the step, the time, and do your import. Okay, so as you can see, one bomb was inserted. Go back and reload the bomb. So you can see here now we have the second. And you'll notice that the that its ID is 109. So if I want to import an, a component under uh, the first step, I use 108 as the bomb step ID. If I want to use it under the second one, I use 109. So again, I'm going to create a spreadsheet. This time, the spreadsheet will have the bomb step ID, which is the 109, and the two component names, and the quantity per. That's all I need. This time, I'm going to select bomb component, choose my file, upload it, make sure to map the bond step ID. Okay, you can see that we have two inserts. And there are the two components. 